One of the most common questions I get is, are beans a good source of protein? And the answer is absolutely. So first of all, beans contain about 16 to 30% protein, which is a lot. If you eat only about 100 calories of beans, which is roughly half a cup of cooked beans, then you are getting around seven grams of protein, although of course it can vary with the type of bean. So how does that compare to other foods? Well, if you look at other grains, for example, you'll see that beans generally contain at least double the amount of other grains, even when compared to a grain like quinoa that we often think of as very high in protein. Well, how about beans compared to animal proteins? You can see here in the table that beans actually do hold their own when compared to animal proteins too. Again, if we're looking at this 100 calorie basis so that we don't bias it by calories. So pretty impressive, and that is why they are also counted in the protein foods group in the dietary guidelines for the US. But wait, you say, I've heard that beans are an incomplete protein, and in order to get good quality protein, I have to eat them with rice or other grains. Is that true? Well, what exactly does incomplete protein even mean? Basically, what it means is that a food does not contain high or adequate amounts of all the essential amino acids, amino acids being the building blocks for protein. Now, an essential amino acid is one that our body cannot make, and so we have to get it from food. Therefore, it is quote unquote essential. Beans are low in sulfur containing amino acids like methionine, and they're also sometimes low in tryptophan. But I wanna point out a couple things. One, beans do contain all 20 amino acids, including all nine essential amino acids, they are just relatively low in some, like methionine. Now a grain like rice, on the other hand, is low in an essential amino acid called a lysine, whereas beans are high in lysine. So yes, if you eat beans and rice together, you are getting adequate amounts of all the essential amino acids. But do you have to eat them at the same time? Do you have to have beans and rice in the same meal? And the answer is no. Have a varied, healthy diet throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout your lifespan, and you'll be good to go on protein, even if you don't have animal protein. More and more these days, it's important to think about more than just the essential amino acid profile of a food. Is that important? Of course, yes. But again, have variety in your diet, have the healthy diet overall, and protein really won't be a concern. Plus, we need to think beyond just amino acids and those numbers to really consider what are the environmental and human health impacts of the food choices we're making. And let me tell you, beans are a great choice.